Oh, look, a kitty. Oh, it looks like we have a visitor today. Can we pet him? Can we keep her? Oh. Let's give her a name. He's not a girl, he's a boy. No, she's not. Teacher, how can we tell if it's a girl or a boy? Well, uh, I know how we can tell if it's a boy or a girl. We can vote on it. Laws which govern life were instituted from before the foundation of the world. They are not based on social or political considerations. They cannot be changed. No pressure, no protest, no legislation can alter them. They are no longer following us. We'll receive a fine ransom for this one. <laughs> no. I have other plans for this one. No. This one is to be treated extremely well. We're going to destroy him. Morally. We will expose him to filthy language and lewd companions. We will encourage him to be lazy and vile. We will make him a slave to appetite by providing him with the richest of food and drink. If we can do that, then he will never be fit to be king. We've been so hospitable to you. Yet you insult me by refusing my food, wine, and pleasure. Everything a man could possibly desire has been yours for the asking. Yet you refuse me. Why? I cannot do what you ask. For I was born to be a king. You are of noble birth, the offspring of the king of heaven. Fix that truth in your mind and hold to it. However many generations your mortal ancestry 
No matter what race or people you represent, the pedigree of your spirit could be written on a single line. You are a child of God. Singles, unwed couples, even same-sex couples, all having children? Well, it's happening more and more, and at a time when many traditional couples are choosing to postpone or forego having children. Tonight, we'll take an in-depth look at the changing face of the modern family. With so much of deception concerning standards and values, with so much of allurement and enticement to take on the slow stain of the world, we have felt to warn and forewarn. The first commandment that God gave to Adam and Eve pertained to their potential for parenthood as husband and wife. We declare that God's commandment for his children to multiply and replenish the earth remains in force. We further declare that God has commanded that the sacred powers of procreation are to be employed only between man and woman lawfully wedded as husband and wife. The strength of any nation is rooted within the walls of its homes. We urge our people everywhere to strengthen their families in conformity with these time-honored values. I'm going home to Dallas for the holidays. I'm going to see my mom for Christmas. I'm going home to be with my family. I'm going to Santiago. I'm going home. Going home. Without family, Christmas doesn't mean anything. Christmas makes me realize what a prize I have in my family, how much I need them. Well, once a year, our family gets together and, uh, for Christmas. It's the only time that the whole family is actually together, so it's kind of a special time for us. It makes me so, so happy to be with my family. Yearning for the ones I call my own. I'm going home. Without family, life doesn't mean anything. They help you out. They're there for you. You know, if you're in pain, if you're hurting, if you're happy, you know, they stand by your side. Steady shoulders gather there to share the love. We belong to each other, you know, when we're same blood. The relationship with your family is the most important thing in your life. Belonging to family is more important than having tons of friends and being popular because whether the world rejects you or not, they're always going to be there for you. Well, you know, as much as everybody enjoys their friends, uh, you know, nothing really can replace that love that you feel for your family. Um, having my family around is uh, a good sense of security. My family is the most important thing in my life. I love them with all my heart. My husband, my kids, they are very dear to me. Uh, knowing that you're not out alone all by yourself is uh, really means a lot to me. I will do all that it takes to reach their arms where I belong. Go I don't know what I'd ever do without my family. Belonging to a family carries a great responsibility. You must love your family, care for them, lift them, strengthen them. One day we may see ourselves home again with our heavenly parents in that wonderful place, not only as sons and daughters, but husbands and wives,
fathers and mothers, grandfathers and grandmothers, grandsons and granddaughters bound together in loving families. No matter who you are, you belong to a family and your Heavenly Father misses you. He wants you to make it home, not just for Christmas, but forever. It's been a long time since I've been home. I haven't, I haven't spoke much with my family. Um, learned a lot over the last couple of years and uh, I'm going home. <laughs>